Okay. This one here. How do we find the curvature of an object? Uh, the surface of an object here. We don't have access to the, the vertice locations in our material editor. Um, which is something that you would need. But we do have DDX and DDY. Uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, but uh, you know, Google is your friend. But the DDX um, compares a quad of pixel locations uh, up and down, I believe, and Y is left and right. Now we take the absolute world position of that pixel that we want to find the curvature of, and we get we do a DDX and DDY. And from that, we take that location and we get the length, uh, which is what this is doing. It is getting the length of that vector 3 or float 3. And DDX, length of DDX, of course, will be our X, and length of DDY will be Y. Um, where would this be useful? Well, this here, we've got kind of a sh tune shading going on with everything else I've got going on here so I imagine if we clamped it well good enough um, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's see yeah we'll, we'll mess that'd be uh, there's your homework okay um, if the value was clamped enough then you could get yourself a nice uh, wireframe, or not wireframe, but a, a nice black outline going on, uh, which works. Well, right here is more flash like like, but hopefully you see what I'm saying. But this is what I'm using to find the curvature. Now the curvature is kind of useless on its own. Um, it's going to be a, what the hell is that? I don't know, that's kind of cool. But this is just a float too, so, you know, you got the uh, X and Y are, are red and green. Um, but, I'm sure there's plenty of things out there that would be useful for. For me, it's uh, needing to find a value that I can use to compare for um, parallax occlusion mapping because I want to have good clipping along the edges here. Um, haven't gone there yet. I've been working things out in their own separate material just to just to get a one, get a better understanding. Two, make sure that I don't have anything complicating what I'm doing so if something goes wrong I'm not looking through a bunch of functions that have nothing to do with what's going wrong so uh, if you understand what each individual sub component of your material is doing then uh, it, it's a lot easier to make it go um, here's another thing I do combine the outputs of each sub function I guess into a combined float that way, if I want to uh, recreate this up, down, whatever, just to try something different and yet not lose this, then one wire is a lot easier to drag off than two or three or four. And I just break it later uh, going to the next function. And that's that. Hopefully it was helpful. Bye-bye.